Ahoy, Salty Dogs! My name is Lens Cap, and welcome back to Project Titan. In today's episode, we're going to be finishing up this bad boy. Bad boy? Aren't ships generally female? Anyway, we're going to be finishing up the Shiv class, um, hopefully. We're going to throw in some systems, and, uh, and then if there's time at the end, we're going to do a combat test of the ship just to, uh, to make sure that everything works and, and everything uh, functions. Um, we've got a pretty badass looking ship, if I do say so myself, um, but she has no guts, and I need her to have as badass guts as she has looks, right? Because she looks freaking intimidating and scary, and I wouldn't want to fight this ship, but if it shoots like, like if it shoots like a water pistol, then what's the point of having these awesome guns, right? So we want to make sure it has a decent complement of weapons as well. Um, one thing, though, before we get into that, that I noticed, our guns are spinning, but they're kind of slow, and I think we can speed that up. Um, so let's get, I've already got the stuff in my inventory to do something about it. So let's put down a rail speed controller. I think I'm actually going to put that right here. Uh, it doesn't actually matter where it is or what direction it faces. But I think right there is visually an interesting place. And then all we need is to put uh, one activation module along with this. Uh, let me trigger this real fast. Okay, I just needed to remember which parts moved. Um, so we just need to put one activation module along with that. Make sure it's on. Uh, we don't have to be able to actually access the activation module it's gonna stay on forever okay then we need to take that and link it up to each of these rails one two three four okay now they're all linked but that puts us in a in another little problem and that is our our rails are now so fast that they spin faster than a game tick than a logic tick and therefore uh, they're done with their rotation before the button turns off, so it can't activate itself again. So to get around that, <clears throat> what we're going to do is subdivide the activation ticks that the rail puts out. So this is, sounds way more complicated than it is. Uh, basically, we're going to select the rail, and we're going to divide it into quarters. Um, this is similar to the way... I did uh, these sails are at a 45 degree angle. Um, basically, you set the rail so that it only rotates 45 degrees and then give it an activation. Uh, use four activation blocks with that and just activate one of the four blocks. In this case, though, we're going to activate all four of the blocks so that the rail does an entire rotation from each... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, from each logic pulse that it gets. However, uh, it outputs four pulses for each uh, pulse it receives, if that makes sense. So uh, now if we tap this button, uh, it'll, it'll work and it spins much faster. So if we compare to this one, well, let's see, that one's not going to spin. So let's do this just for comparison's sake. Uh, let's disconnect this from the rotator whoops hello v there we go we'll start that spin and now we can see the top uh cannon barrel is rotating four times as quickly um i think four at least twice it's a lot faster okay so that's the whole point of this exercise um, so let's reconnect that, and then what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother hooking up everything right now on camera. I'll do that between clips, um, but that is the gist of how to how to fix that rotation. If you want a fast spinning object, that's how you make something spin quickly and not just spin at all. 
<clears throat> okay, so this is actually my second iteration of trying to put systems in this ship. I've been sick and didn't really film the first part. I just didn't feel up to making content at the time. But I wanted to work on my ship, so I just kind of did something. And uh, fortunately for you guys, it didn't work. So we're going to do this together. Um, in my previous iteration, I started with the I started with the reactor and built that first. Got it stabilized, uh, got its efficiency up, and uh, and then I added as much shielding as I could as I could stand to. And then uh, and then I filled in thrusters, and then I filled in with what remaining power I had. Um, I put guns in. Well, it turns out I didn't have very much remaining power at all, and my guns were like water guns. Uh, they had like 13 blocks, <laughs> 13 block guns or something. And uh, when you link that with 13 slaved blocks for cannon cannon, it was like the puniest little gun ever. It did like 50 damage or something <laughs> with each shot, and uh, that's unacceptable for a warship, for a battleship of this caliber. Um, so we're going to go bigger, and I think I'm going to build the gun first so we can get some decent performance out of our gun. And then we'll, uh, hopefully we'll get a decent sized cannon, and then we'll try and build the rest of the ship around that. I don't know if that's going to work. Um, I'm afraid we're going to struggle with this a little bit, simply because uh, it's going to be hard to power gun this size okay can we fit any more blocks in here I feel like there's there's got to be room for something else here somewhere is this an empty spot is this touching cannon barrels oh yes okay is there a mirror is there one on this side as well cool okay we can squeeze out two more blocks can we fit any more blocks so we could bring the gun back farther uh, this gives us 70 blocks on our main barrel. That's 1,400 damage. Um, it looks kind of puny, doesn't it? But 1,400 damage isn't bad. Now, when we add our secondary cannon to that, let's go ahead and do that and see what we actually end up getting. So right now, we're at 280 blocks for all four barrels. I think the problem I'm having with getting this a decent size is that there are actually four guns, you know, and so um, to get each of the guns at a decent size takes like a ridiculous amount of power, um, but uh, that's where we are, that's where we, that's where we stand. Okay, so we need to put down 280 blocks for the secondary uh, gun system, like the slave system for this. I'm just gonna do like a ring right here. Um, did I place a block outside the ship? So, okay, I did. I placed a block through that block somehow. How many blocks does that give us? 92. Okay, if we fill this in, that should get us pretty close. We might need a fourth, like a fourth ring of cannon uh, barrels to complete our 100 and 280. I'm just hoping I'm going to be able to fit a sufficiently large reactor in the ship. Um, she's not really that big. More of the problem is getting a reactor in the ship and stabilized and efficient. Uh, but we'll get we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Right now we want to get the gun in. I would like to test how uh, how quickly it fires at at 77% stable. See, right now our damage is already down to 700. It's half of what it was, but we fire really quickly. Okay, let's see if we can get the rest of our 280 blocks in. We need 50 more blocks. Uh, let's see if this will give it to us. This, uh, I like the, the overlay selection, but it's hard to see where I'm actually... Placing the, placing the blocks. Okay, what am I at now? 272. 
I need eight more blocks. Sure, I can squeeze in eight blocks here somewhere, right? Here, we'll just put them in the back like this. Let's see. We need one, two, three, four. That should get us. 288. We actually went overboard. Okay, that's 280. So let's just do it like Ah, let's do it like this. One, two. Is that enough? 280. That's perfect. And that puts us at 280 damage per shot. Is that right? That seems really low. That seems really low. I just wanted a, a fast firing, decently sized weapon, but I don't know that we're going to be able to accomplish that. Now, if we multiply that by four, however, that's 800, uh, math in my head. It's, it's easy math, but I'm on camera, so I'm a little bit nervous. I mean, not that I get super nervous, but, uh, 1120. That's less than one single cannon. Does it show me the reload speed? Let's see. Because if I can find out, if I can see reload 0.2 seconds, so it fires five times a second. So if we're doing... If we're doing 1120 times 5, that's 5,600 damage per second. If we... If we disconnect this, we're at 1,400 damage now per shot. And the reload speed is 1 second. So let's do 1,400 times 4 gives us 5,600 uh, damage per second. It's the same. It's the same. So the question becomes, what's better for us? Four slow but heavy impacts or four really fast but light impacts? I think for the Gatling concept, we want the lighter impacts. Okay, uh, so the next step is to put in a reactor. Um, so let's try and get in a reactor that can handle this. Now, if we look right now, we have no power. And it doesn't say how much power we're using in system. Maybe in stats it will? Conduits, active reactor, stats. Yeah, usage including docks 0.0%. .0%. So what we want to do is, generally, my rule of thumb is to get my reactor to a point where idle, the ship uses, what, 30% um, of the reactor or less. Those are cannon barrels, Lenscap. So I'm going to put in a reactor, see if I can get a one that accomplishes that 30% rule. We'll have to stabilize it and stuff, and, and that takes a minute. So I'm going to cut... And when I come back, hopefully have a decent reactor. All right, so we ended up being uh, 798.9, 799 mass, so 800 mass. That's not bad. Um, I'm actually very comfortable with 800 mass. Um, for power, I ended up with 175 reactor blocks and just as many stabilizers. It was really hard to get this guy stabilized. Uh, look at where all these stabilizer groups are. I had to put so many um, because the ship is such a strange shape. Um, and I put the reactor off to one side. But, uh, but I think that worked out fine for us. We're at 34% stabilization, so if I needed to pump out a little bit more power... I probably could. I'm a little bit nervous about putting in um, too many more reactor blocks, though, because one of our stabilizer groups is right here, and this feels to me like a pretty vulnerable location. Uh, 
The rest of them are pretty good spots. The rest of them are in pretty good spots, though. Um, but we could pump out a little bit more, depending on how this test goes. We may uh, we may actually do that. All right, moving along. Thrusters, 2.3 percent percent thrust to mass. Uh, let's let's fix that. Actually, we should be able to get up to 2.5. Um, I forgot that I balanced the thrusters before I did, um, well, you know what, we'll fix this later. We'll live with 2.3 for now. Um, I balanced the thrusters before I put the chambers in on the reactor, and, um, so that threw it off a little bit. Okay, uh, shields, we're at 58,000, 60,000 shields at 4,200 shields per second. Um, so it's, it's actually less shields than our weapon damage does, which ends up, which ended up being, uh, what was that number I gave? 280 times 4 times 5, 5400, something like that. I said it earlier in the video, um, I hope that's right, but, uh, but yeah, so that, that gives us that, um, as far as our... What am I looking for? Ship, reactor. As far as our reactor goes, I have three gr chamber groups. I've got a stealth chamber so we can jam. Uh, so we've got a jammer. We can kind of kick ourselves off of an enemy's target list um, as we do that. We've got our scanner strength with a max scanner so that even if the enemy is a stealth ship, we can find them. Um, I feel like that's probably pretty important for a little fighter like this. And then a base reactor power chamber, just so we can pump a little bit more out of uh, out of our reactor there. So that's very useful. Um, all right, so now we're gonna fight ourselves. Set ship AI minus one. Isn't isn't that the command? Oh, start ship AI. That's right. All right, so now now they're a pirate us. Let's see if we can take ourselves out before they take us out. That's really going to be the trick. Our health is a little bit low. Let's let's turn on that cloaker and see if that um, helps us at all. We run hot. We're at about ninety-seven percent um, of our reactor capacity when we're moving and firing. And uh, that's assuming we're not reloading anything. Um, like our stealth jammer, for example. Okay, this is pretty balanced. I have no idea how this fight's going to go. Um, honestly, because we're... The two ships are pretty equal as it stands. I mean, it's balanced around itself, so... We're winning so far. Um, it's just about who can get more hits consistently on their target. It looks like we've taken out their shields. Uh, is it time to pop our cloaker just yet? Yeah, let's pop it real quick. Kind of save us a little bit of firing. That's good. That's good. Okay, he popped his. Let's pop our scanner. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize that showed us actually information about the inside of their ship. That's kind of cool. Alright, but their shield is all the way down and ours is holding strong. I'm still getting pretty good hits. I just gotta lead a little bit. I like this. This Gatling cannon thing is cool. Um, I think our shots are coming out of the right place as well on the ship. That's something I didn't really check. Let's see, let's give our let's give our cloaker another another go. Kind of save ourselves some face. Seven thirty. All right, we're taking out blocks. I can see his mass is dropping. So that's good. Let's try and get a little bit closer to them. Oh, they disappeared. Where'd they go? That's my own ship. Okay, there we go. There it is. Okay, now this is our ship without any turrets or anything. I still have yet to design turrets, and I suspect that will dra drastically affect 
our power draw. Uh, when we do put turrets on the on the vessel, so I'm not quite sure how I feel about that yet. Um, oh wow, look, it lost some wings already. Oh yeah, that ship is wrecked. All right, cool. I'm happy with this weapon. I I think we did a good choice by the um, by doing the fast firing instead of the slow. Spray and pray, right? Is kind of the kind of the philosophy. If we uh, the more shots we take, the more likely we are to hit with at least one. Even if it does slightly less damage. Um, I'd rather do a little bit less damage than just miss a lot. I am interested to see the, the, the pirate AI use the cloaker so well. I didn't think they would do that. It doesn't seem to count to understand that uh, it can counter my scanner, though. But I'm not sure that the pirate AI needs to. So, that's a thing. Alright, but I think we're doing pretty well here. Let's, let's give ourselves a break for a second so we can reload our systems. Alright. Cool. Okay, well, I'm comfortable with this test. Um... I mean, the thing about fights like this, especially on smaller ships, is that they take a long time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the ship's AI. And then let's see if we can catch it and look at how much damage we did. I think that would be a good screenshot for this episode. Um, we should do probably one more test. Uh, let's fight that that ship of JWs again. The Cutter, I think it was called. Oh, slow down, buddy. And uh, see how we fare against it. Come to me, you ship. Let's whiz right past it again, I hope. We keep crossing sector boundaries, and, and that's what's going on. Um, I did read in some patch notes... Or uh, I think it was the roadmap, actually. They said they're going to make sectors a lot more seamless. So you won't actually be able to tell when you cross sector lines. I'll believe it when I see it, but I'm excited to, uh, I'm excited to see it. Alright, I've about matched velocity with it. Let's hop in build mode and turn off our HUD so I can get a good screenshot of this. Let's see. Whoa. Sector boundary for sure. All right, how about like this? You can use um, F6 to take a screenshot with no HUD. I always just turn my HUD off though, so I can frame the picture well. All right, so let's let's kill this ship, get it destroyed. Let's point at Galactic North and uh, spawn in another ship to fight. And we it was the cutter. Because it was about the same mass as us. This is why we picked this one. Alright, let's start its AI. And see how we can do against this ship. I may not show this whole fight on camera, depending on how exciting it is. Uh, again, Starmade fights are not super exciting to watch. But uh, I think we've got this one. No sweat. Its shields are already down to half. You know, if we can keep its shields down, then we'll win for sure. That was the problem we had fighting this ship before. We just couldn't keep its shields down. It has 66,000 shields. I think we had 58, something like that. I don't know what the recharge rate on this sh on the cutter is, but uh, it seems like we're a little bit quicker as far as recharge goes. Uh-oh. Lost it. Okay. Got target acquired. 
we did uh, deplete its shield. And I think it's starting to lose some mass. I didn't pay attention exactly to how much mass it had. It is getting some hits off, though, right in my face. Let's see, can we change cameras? I thought I had a camera angle set up. I guess not. I should, uh, I should do that. I'm definitely happy with, uh, with this design, though. I think we made a good ship, fellas. Um, I'm gonna end the episode here. Let me know what you think of the systems we put in the Shiv class. And I think next time we'll start working on maybe the Cutlass, our next, uh, our next ship in the fleet, which is larger. And I think that'll be a fun ship to work on. Um, we may instead move on and try and design a mining vessel. Um, since we've retired the, what did I call it? <laughs> since we've retired the pickpocket class, is that what it was? Um, I think that's what it was. Then, uh, we don't really have a, a reasonable miner anymore, so we might do that instead. Uh, let me know what you'd rather see. Uh, do you want to see a warship? Or do you want to see uh, a utility ship, a mining vessel? Let me know in the comments. But until next time, fellas, stay tuned.